Alright. Well, everybody, I have made a um, conclusion, I think. As of right now, with our current status, this is as far as we're going to get into the dungeon. And with that being said, I think it's wise for us to pull out until we get up to diamond armor. And we start strategizing what we're going to do a lot more. Um, I think some objective that we need to accomplish is to try and get some projectile protection. Let's make a base, let's make a bed, kind of like we tried to last time, but now we have learned from our mistakes and we can those mistakes to overcome our challenges. And I think that is the lesson that we are kind of pulling out of this adventure today. Get out, adventure, have some fun, and yeah, let's, oh wow, what a, what a weather for an inspirational speech to bring us to. Oh. Uh. Yeah, no. Seems the fireworks have given up launching. Time to find ourselves a home. Right, these guys don't harm me. I do think we should make a trip back home first though, because there, if I am correct, there is an enchant table there. And all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I don't know where we're back at. Ah, yes, we're gonna upgrade our agility to ride horses. There we go. And now we're gonna make a trip back. Okay, so we got a terrible iron pickaxe out of that. Um, if we do ever do anything like that again, I would think that our next call to action would be grinding with spawners again. Because right now we have it so that we get more XP from killing mobs, so... That's... Probably something that we want to uh, get ourselves towards. Alright, so let's go back over here. Okay, let's look back in here. What do we got? We got some arrows. Okay, and I'll just take these just in case. Okay, now our primary objective is getting back. And now we should be able to take all the books. The bookshelves. Which we can use to get a level 30 enchant table. Which will not actually take all 30 of our levels because we're not in 1.7.10, we're in 1.12.2. Because of that, that will make life a lot easier. What the... I guess this wouldn't be an episode if I didn't get one shot by something, would it? Welcome to RL Craft, the realm of many possibilities. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that whatever the heck I build is going to be like nowhere near as cool. Or I could actually just occupy like a residence that I see fit for myself, actually. Now that I think about it, if I if it if it looks like it's the proper size, yeah, that's what we can do today. We can go exploring for our new home. Okay. Finally, we can break that. I'm so curious as to how the heck I keep on getting one-shot by certain things. I do gotta admit, though, this place does look fairly decent. And I do like it, and the way that it looks and everything about it. Let's have one final rest for the night before we go off into the wild and explore what the world has for us. Now, from what I've heard, the nether is, like, literally a nightmare, so I'm kind of avoiding doing that for now. Oh, shoot, right, there's a diamond block at the bottom of that, but do I want to go down there? Yeah, why not? Okay, of course there's one of those guys. Although I do have to say, still, this is one of the prettiest structures that I've ever seen. To date, we still have a saddle that we gotta remember that we have. Um, I wanna set up some type of purification station, find a way to get water purified and all that, and uh, let's extend our render distance now that we're back up top. Give it a second to load in, and there we go. Okay, so which way would we like to sail off today? I say we wanna settle up in some 
neutral biome. Let's uh, not die to any sirens today. Kind of have our whole base on us. That's a siren. Is that a siren? That is a siren. Alright everybody, welcome back. So, today I just thought that if I'm going to be making a house in RL Craft, you might as well make it look as if, you know, you're making a house in real life. Not just, you know, abusing Minecraft physics to get your desired result. No, I was thinking, let's like make an all-out mineshaft area. Let's go ahead and make this all-out like, uh... Let's go ahead and make an all-out, legitimately styled house. Legitimate made house. I want, I want that in my life. So, let's start by setting the foundation. Ah, good morning. All right, so. We're gonna make her entrance come somewhat from here, I think. And then we can have our house like this. So with that aesthetic, I think, let us begin the work. So first off is doors. Is there any special door? Can I want a small doorway that goes into the bigger house, the bigger portion of the house. So. Let's make our central section of the house. We're gonna need some beams and we're gonna need some support. And I'm pretty sure this looks well together. Yeah, it does. So we'll go with that. Okay. So let us first lay out foundation. Let's plant down a few chests real quick for temporary storage. Seems the weather is quite unusually hot in this area, but it's all the essence of how life works. 